<laughs> well, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I certainly feel amazing. <laughs> oh man, at the time of recording this, I saw probably one of the greatest baseball games ever. Shout out to those New York Metro Metropolitans right here. I had to break it out. I had to break out this dope hat heaven crown because you know what? It is all so appropriate. Peter Alonso coming in clutch in the ninth. Say what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Perfect for this Fitted Friday episode because uh, I got a dope Fitted Friday crown. Perfect for the fall for y'all to check out. Unfortunately, it's from a team that was just recently eliminated from the postseason. However, I think that you will appreciate it just as much as I do. And I really appreciate y'all tuning in. Let's keep that subscribe button going on fire, man. We're working our way up to 1K subs by the end of the year. So really do appreciate all y'all support. And also keep remembering to hit that like button if you would please be so kind to do so. And with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fellow YouTubers, fellow YouTube watchers, and all those who identify something in between, this week in Nerd Stuff probably presents Fitted Fridays number 91 with your boy, me, that cool guy, JT Little. Play the theme music. Now, let's go. gentlemen boys and girls welcome back inside the studio thank you for joining us on another very awesome episode of fitted fridays if this is your first time to the channel welcome aboard if you're a returning viewer welcome back glad to have you here and come on and join me in this trip down memory lane because we are going to take it all the way back to fall of 2022 where I'm about to showcase to y'all one of the dopest hats you've ever seen from probably one of the dopest hat drops I've ever seen. So let's take it all the way back to, to the good folks over at Pro Image Sports and Fan Treasures for this awesome fitted that we got here today. I got the box all ready and raring to go, so I hope that you enjoy this one. And I hope that y'all let me know in the comments how you feel about this one because it is a doozy and it is a beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you this very dope Baltimore Oreos. Ooh, look at this, fam. Look at this. Absolutely stunning right here. Oh my gosh, this stone crown. Ooh, look at that logo right there. Look at the bird, man. Oh my god, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And best part about this, one of my favorite Oreo side patches. 20, what is it? No, yeah, 20th anniversary of Oreo Park at Canham Yards, 92 to 2012. Ooh. This is absolutely beautiful. What do we got here? We got us the flat baddie with the black with, I think that's the copper and a little bit of the stone as well. Tonal New Era logo right here. Black button, black visor. Flip it on over. We got the classic green UV with the black sweatband as it always should be. And this hat is 100% polyester made in China. Bang, bang, bang. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. Baltimore Orioles, man, let's talk about this joint real quick. First off, first off, you can't get, I, I don't know, man, I, I love seeing this bird on the Baltimore Orioles. I love all the bird Baltimore Oriole logos right here, but this one just, mm, French kiss, French kiss. Um, what am I saying, French kiss? Chef's kiss. Oh my God, I'm bugging. Uh, so yeah, this comes from the Stone Harbor collection that dropped fall 2022. I think it was in September. Oh man, it was a uh, it was an awesome 10 piece and I, you know as as much as i wanted to get multiple one this one just stood out to me as a beauty as a beauty and of course this is currently the i believe current alternate logo that the baltimore orioles use since the uh beginning of the 2009 season oh so that's pretty 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 doggone sweet right there a classic beauty shout out to all my o's fans out there we just did an o's fitted not too long ago i think that one was from sneaker town but this one mm, banging absolute banging perfect for this time of year once again we got us the 20th anniversary oreo park at kingdom yards and not one that's used quite often though it's not as used as often as the 30th anniversary one but Nevertheless, glad to have it here. Take a quick look. And if you notice, you got the colored bricks in the background. I love that detail. Love it. Black stone. And we I think this is a, a metallic copper for the MLB Batterman logo. Uh, Tonal New Era. We got us the black button. We got us the black visor. Classic green UV. Black guts. 
doesn't get any better than that. Seven and three eighths, my preferred size. Listen, I, honestly, I think this was one of my nominees for 2022 collection of the year. It is that banging. And if any of y'all had copped a, a fitted from this collection, let me know in the comments, please. Because this is a work of art, I must say. Must tell you. And of course, let me know how else you feel about any of these fitteds that you've seen. Is there fitted? Is there a team that I that you want me to showcase more to y'all? Let me know, please, please do. And of course, please follow me on the socials as well, IG, and if the government still allows it, maybe TikTok at this week nerd stuff for all the daily posts, highlights, and pack openings. We got another banger of a fitted Friday coming up real soon. Definitely in these spooky vibes, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, awesome uh, TCG YouTube shorts every Monday, Tuesday, or whenever it is the best minute of pulls on YouTube, hopefully. And, of course, we got another banging this week in nerd stuff. Who knows what it's going to be? I have no idea. One Piece, Funko, Pokemans, you name it, I got it. We'll show it. So... I guess that pretty much wraps this one up. Thank y'all so much. Hope that you hit that like button. Hope that you comment. Hope that you subscribe to the channel. And until we meet again, fake audience in the studio, please cue that applause. <laughs>